When it comes to playing retro games that were disc-based, you can start to run out of space for your games very quickly, particularly when it comes to things like PS2 games. I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to reduce the huge sizes of some of these files and squeeze a lot more games onto your internal or external storage without having to resort to fiddling around with command line prompts or having the frustration of typing out the names of each and every game. Normally, to shrink your disk-based games down in size, CHD Man would be the recommended option. It comes with MAME, and you'd have to extract it from the MAME download. Put it in a directory with your ROMs, fire up a command line prompt window, then start typing in a command line for each game, complete with a full name of the game for the input, the file name for the output, as well as the command line switches. If you get one thing slightly wrong when you're typing all that out, then the thing will almost certainly fail, and you'd have to do that for each game. Well, that's what we're not going to be doing. Instead, head over to the GitHub page for NAM DHC. I've put a link to the page in the description below. What this is, is a visual front end for CHD Man, which completely removes the need for all the command prompt stuff and the tedious typing, and removes the error prone way of doing things. To get hold of it, go to the releases section at the side of the page and click on the link for the latest release. The files are near the bottom of the page. I find it easiest to just download the zip file and unzip it. It contains chdman and nam dhc, which acts as a user-friendly visual front end for chdman. Go into the directory where the files are and run nam dhc. Apart from telling it where your input files are and where you want your converted files to be stored, you can pretty much leave everything else at the default settings. I've got my PS2 games in ISO format stored in one directory, so I'm going to click on Add a Folder. Browse to where that folder is located, and then choose Select Folder, and you can see the list of input files in the window. I've also created a directory called Output, where I want the CHD files to be created, and selected that folder as my Output folder. All that's left now is to hit the Create CHD button and be patient. For the number of games I've got here, the whole process took about 50 minutes. You'll get a pop-up message telling you when it's finished, as well as an option to see a report in case there was a problem. So let's take a quick look at the output files, the CHD files that it's created, and compare them with the original ISO files. The amount that the files will be compressed will vary from one game to another, but looking down the list, you can see that the all have had a significant reduction in size, with probably the most impressive being Time Crisis, Crisis Zone, which has gone from a file size of about 3.5 gig down to just 269 meg. To get a better idea of the space savings, let's take a look at the total for the ISOs and the total space used by the CHD files. You can see that the ISOs take up over 45 gig but the same games in CHD format are taking up only 30 gig. That's a pretty impressive saving and gives you plenty space for a lot more games. NAM CHD is completely free and it'll probably save you money in the long run as you won't have to keep buying bigger cards to store your games on. Add to all that the fact that the CHD files it creates run exactly the same as ISO files and using it seems like a no-brainer. Give it a try. I've left the link to where you can get it in the description below.